Howdy everybody, my name is Harley Reg McDaniel Jr. and welcome to podcast number 25 where we welcome all seekers of truth and science and optimal health. For the next several podcasts we're going to continue to talk about a series of publications in the Fisher Proceedings journals involving human studies by doctors and solid information about complementary medicine. To be part of this journal, the gold standard is that this must be duplicatable and have occurred with several people from different states before even being published. In volume number two, page five, is a study on candida. This is a very huge health issue for humans and I felt like it needed to be addressed again since it is in this study too. This pilot study was initiated to determine if nutrient saccharides as found in nature would enhance known mechanisms of cell-mediated defense against candida albicans. This was a six-month blind study, meaning the doctors did not know if they had the enhanced nutrition in their specimens or not. The killing activity against candida was most significant in its capacity to demonstrate differences between glyconutrient samples provided for testing. The results showed that improved nutrition using the glyconutrients did indeed give the body what it needed to kill and eliminate the candida. So the human body knows what to do when given the proper nutrition, which we can't find in our normal and even health food stores, not even our homegrown gardens. You'd have to eat 40 pounds of vegetables a serving to get the equivalent nutrition we have to offer in our product. Another study was to see if you can enhance the performance of top athletes with comprehensive nutrition found in Ascend Sciences powdered product, which is the newer version and better formulation created by Dr. McDaniel, who has over 36 years of experience in this field. The answer is yes, you can improve the performance of the athletes. On page 10, we learn how two male professional race car drivers in the Indy 500 were used in this study. The idea for this study was, can the amount of resource availability exceed the amount that is needed versus using up all your resources to win? Driver one exhibited greater neuromotor channel capacity with the most being demonstrated in the lower extremities. Driver number two's movement speed capacity became greater than that of driver number one. It was found that a subject who exhibits less change in heart rate per unit of time per unit of performance capability or capacity would have a greater physiology stress tolerance, which itself can be considered a performance resource drawn upon heavily by some tasks. So a competitive edge was obtained. Well, we're all out of time again, and today we'll want to cut to the chase by asking the person who invited you to the podcast to get the answers to the questions you might have to see when you want to get involved with us and these incredible products. Next time I'll explain what these studies mean, and I hope you will share my podcast with your friends because I only provide scientifically proven, life-changing, and life-saving information every single time. To close, as usual, I wish to end with a Quaker parable by John Greenleaf Whittier. I lift thee, and thee lift me, and together we ascend. See you all next time.